Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people. I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to the Plucky Squire. One of the cutest and coolest games. One of, not the, but one of the cutest and coolest games I have played this year. Uh, this is chapter two. In the last video, we did chapter one. We met Jot, our main character. We met Violet, the little witch in training. We met Thrash, one of our closest friends as well. We met DJ Moonbeard, the antagonist of the story, which his name is Humgrump. Nice. A few other things happened. We fought uh, a honey badger. <laughs> if you didn't see the first video, go ahead and watch that. You're in for a treat. Now we are on our way to this tower over here, and Thrash had just jumped off the cliff. Huh? This is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's Thrash. Let's do this. It's Tome Tower, yeah, that's what it's called. Jump! Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is dope. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Oh, I almost died. Didn't even need it. But I might, I might, I might need it. I might need it. Oh, ow. I thought I was done for good. No! Uh, help! Help! Somebody help! It's cool, I got it. Don't worry, I got it. Give me another heart. Thank you, thank you. Another heart. Thank you, I need all the hearts I can get. My fucking chair! Nice climbing, dude! That was fun. I like this. Do you see how it messes with like, ah, uh, you both got down that, you both got down that cliffside with banging style. You had a good rhythm going on there, dudes. You think? You know, I did feel rather graceful. Sort of like hopping mount, sort of like a hopping mountain rabbit. Well, now we're down on the ground. Best get on the home tower. Lead the way, plucky squire. That's me. I'm the plucky squire. Look at those bouncing boulders. They're just vanishing into thin air. Oh, they're not vanishing. <laughs> Majorly weird. Oh, they're not vanishing. But do you see how like it also plays around with like 2D, 3D? It's like in the book and then it pops out and now it's a 3D ball. It's so cool. I cannot wait until we like actually start to get outside the book. Also, in the last video, I did leave it up to you guys to um, decide whether we were going to do it like chapter based or if we were going to do longer videos, shorter videos. Nobody actually left anything in the comments. So, per usual, I am going to be doing it chapter by chapter. Just, it's, I think there's only 10 chapters in the game. I don't think that the game is super long. It'll be a nice, short, fun series. Why make it longer than, or... I guess shorter than it has to be. Let's just slow down and enjoy our time. Give you something to come back for. A bull! It looks angry. Good job. Good job none of us is... Good job none of us is wearing red. Phew! Jot's wearing red. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of red. More of a crimson than a scarlet. I don't think bulls are that picky. Yeah, Violet, shut the hell up. I got it regardless. Okay. This thing's got health. Oh, I was about to say, how many hits do you require? I'm sorry, Violet. I didn't mean to tell you to shut up. <laughs> I feel so bad. Hey! Got an art scroll. Early concept, early character concept, early character design. Potato, potato. This was before Jot was a writer and didn't have a quill in his hat. He already had that plucky disposition though. Cute. Ooh, this opens up. I, I feel like this opens up to the outside. The other world, as I'll call it. Hold up, is that Moonbeard? He looks much more 
petite than usual. Oh, that's not Moonbeard, Thrash. That's Minibeard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually you'll find him at Moonbeard's house helping him out. Today, it looks like he's out and about. Hey, Minibeard, what's cooking? Yo, you'll need a key if you want to be journeying onward. If you want to walk to the right here, just you just might find one. Free advice from old Minibeard? Thanks, Minibeard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and Moon, and Moon Minibeard is around, always pays to ask him. He's full of answers. Cool. I will not be doing that because I won't need to. I'm fine on my own. I don't even need you guys. The plucky squire didn't get his name with the help of his friends. He probably did. There's two bulls in there. That is not going to be fun. All right, here we go. No. Oh! Okay. Got him. Hell yeah. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Just took a little bit of finesse. Nothing that the plucky squire can't handle after all. He's plucky and he's a squire. You got the key. I knew you'd do it. Thanks, mini beard, dude. Onward we go. You guys couldn't help me. Like you guys didn't feel like helping me out. I'm just saying, some friends they are. You know what I mean? Oh, that is not the way to outside. Here was a secluded forest. Ah, greetings, travelers three. My name is Topsy. Hey, Topsy. I see you are on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you. But there is something you could perhaps assist me with first. Namely, my tummy. It is empty! I left my biscuits around here somewhere, you see? And the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat. Which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. The cat shouldn't be parted from their biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There's a word. There's a word in that sentence just there. That might be the key to all these landscape shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. I think I'll give the bushes a good whack first. As a matter of fact, I think I'll give something else a good whack first. Jot found Topsy's biscuits. Can't I just take them to him? Oh, I see. I see the problem here. So if I pick this up and take this over to the words, then we can switch. I think I already know what it is. I think it's... Secluded Ruin? Oh, okay. I thought it would be like a ruined forest. Nice! That was weird. Mmm, interesting. Okay, all right. So I picked it. I grabbed this. Uh, I hate that I have to hold E. That's not comfortable for my fingies. Huh. So I grabbed this. I can't take that up there. But maybe if I leave it here and then change it back to a secluded forest. Okay. Okay. Very simple puzzle. Kind of a, a nice easy way to ease yourself into the, the aspect of the puzzly part of the game. I like that. I like that. I like that! Let me stop. Guys, I did it! I did a thing! Here you go, Topsy. My biscuits! How I have dreamed of this moment! Travelers, you have my sincerest thanks! The prospect of this snack brings a smile to my face! Oh, you were upside down! I definitely thought... <laughs> okay. This land is full of puzzles and trickery! Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. When you get stuck, try seeing things from a different angle. Good luck, biscuit saviors. Yay! 
Onward, my liege. We made it to Tome Tower. We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Let's see what you got for me. Ooh, I only have a hundred. Oh no! Ah! I thought I had collected more than that. Okay, well, gotta get the art scroll for sure. Moonbeard. Early concept design: Moonbeard before his sunglasses. Ah, uh, he's not as cool. And then we gotta get the sword damage upgrade. I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you guys, I swear it. Whoops. Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon, loomed Cho Tower. Whoa! It got dark around here pretty fast. Wait, what the? Um. Uh. Why do I get stuck with the buggy games? There's no way. Okay. I skipped some dialogue, but sure. Booming bolts. Very metal. Okay. This strange electricity was spawning monsters. Obviously. This is like the fifth game <laughs> that I've had that like caused me some problems with bugs. And granted, this game is still fairly new, but uh, it, it always seems to be me who ends up with the buggy games. I was recording the casting of Frank Stone. The last episode of that and I got stuck in an area where I could no longer get out because the platforms that I was trying to jump on just weren't there they just were invisible to the game apparently and so I looked it up everywhere that I had seen that was talking about this issue nobody had any advice the only advice that was given was that unfortunately I'm gonna have to restart the entire game so it'll be a minute before you guys get another casting of Frank Stone video. I'm just I'm just telling you that now. Because the fact that I have to start all the way back to chapter one and make all the same decisions that I made again is so draining. But we're not here to talk about the casting of Frank Stone. This is the plucky squire. This is a completely different adventure. New friends and less death. It takes so long to kill these things. Jesus. <laughs> it's fun though. It, it, the combat keeps you on your toes, but it's not, like I said, this game is not too difficult, but it's also not too easy either. I very much enjoy it for that. Hello, young adventurers. Are you on your way to Tobe Tower? Yep, that's where we're heading. Best, best beware. A dark wizard occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this lovely bridge. Also, um, un, unmitigatedly obli obliterate. Holy shit. Oh yeah, wrecked. Hmm, is there another way across the water? Oh, you, you were asking me. You weren't asking the the genius worm, the bookworm over here. You were asking the guy who's also never been here before. Well, I wonder ever so <laughs> conveniently that there's a staircase. The cave entrance. Promising, promising. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Man, real gloomy. Dig the acoustics though. Lead on, Jot, my dude. Your plucky glow will light the way. Will it? Is that what we're relying on? My plucky glow? This is so weird. I feel like it's gonna be very easy to miss some collectibles in this little section. I wanna be able to get up there, but I don't think I can just yet. I'm coming back for you. Just you wait, I'm coming back. Oh, yep, see, I told you. Jot explored the impassable cave. 
I just bonked this guy on his head. Whoa. Shot explore the impassable cave. Is this the way to progress or secrets? I don't want progress. Ah, oh, shit. Oh! I should probably stop doing that. I want secrets. Give me all the secrets. I guess there's no secrets in here. That's kind of lame. That would have been a fun little challenge to find some secrets in the explorable cave. But no matter. On we go. Would you look at that? We crossed the river. On we go. All right, what you got for me this time? I don't have enough for everything. I need that. That spin attack move would be so cool. Another art scroll, of course. Okay. Oh, did I miss one? <gasps> no. No. Don't do this to me. Don't, because you know how I feel about that. Concept art, fairy forest, some early concepting of game environments, an enchanted place. You know how I feel about that. Don't you dare do this to me. I gotta go back. I gotta go back and find the scroll. No, no, I can't. I shan't. It's just a game. Enjoy the story, Chris. Whoa there. All these books. Really eerie. Pretty cool visual, though. No, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. I gotta collect as many light bulbs as I can. That item shop isn't gonna wait forever. I mean, it probably will, but these books had been had been purposefully stacked. Ooh. Another art scroll. Let that be the one. Let that be the one that I missed. Because if it's not, I'm gonna be pissed. See what I did there? Back! Oh, I have to go back. I have to. I mean, I can't now because I'm stuck in this place until I figure out what to do. Oh my god! That's damage right there! Did you see that? And it goes farther. Oh yeah. That upgrade was right. Oh! And it boomerangs back? I mean, well, no, it was supposed to do that, but I meant like, like, it attacks the enemy on return. Fire! Oh no! Oh no! Not the big ones. Shit! Yeah, this is how I'm gonna do it. It takes so long. There we go. My goodness. There's no reason why an enemy should take that long to kill. Pages were scattered on the ground. More like pages were... Wait, can I... Can I switch this with... This? Pages were stacked on the ground? Ooh! Ooh! Wait! Could I... Where am I... Am I supposed to take this somewhere? I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this. I do not think that they would have done that on by accident or like for no reason. There's got to be a reason. Ah. Okay, so I just prematurely figured out the puzzle. That's so cool. That wretched fool Jot he will get what he deserves. The time is near. Uh. Okay, that's a bit creepy. 
That dreaded fucking squire. Hey, don't say my name in vain. Nah, that's not what I meant to do at all. All right. Onward and upward. Nice, Tome Tower. So, this is where it all kicks off. A historical location, and no mistake. Huh? Hey, come back here! Well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much... <laughs> Sorry, why did I read it like that? No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyway, here we are. Tome Tower. Looks like Humgrump is still up there. On the roof. It's time for the plucky squire to go take care of that creep. We'll stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. This is one of those dramatic, heroic kind of moments, you know? During your big showdown, you don't want us two dorks mooching around in the background. Nope, we'll mooch down here instead. But we'll be cheering you on all the way. Mooching and cheering. Jot. That's more of our stuff. Mooching and cheering, Jot. Go get that chump. Or go get that chump. Jesus. Doing multiple voices is a lot harder than it seems. Then you have to pay attention to who's who. Uh, you guys could definitely help me. Go on, Jot. You got this in the bag. Hum Humpy Grumpy is about to fall to on this on his wall. I'm not going to wish you luck. You don't need it. You're the plucky squire. Yeah, but you guys can still help me. Like, there's there's nothing wrong with, with helping me out. Seriously. You guys could help Jot me. made his way up the steep steps. Ah! The plucky squire! The plucky, plucky squire! I've been waiting for you. So glad to see you made it to Tome Tower. You might be wondering what Humgrump is doing here. Well, I had a hunch, Grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book! It was hidden away in a very secret chamber because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire! Yes, that's right! This book is all about you and me and all who live in this dreaded land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that our land of Mojo is just a setting and a storybook. Hard to believe? I assume you, I assure you, it's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook, a book within the book, if you will. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that witch girl adventuring through the land, meeting up with a mountain troll, making your way up here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof. Any guesses how that turns out? And so, the plucky squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Humgrum. This is all part of his plan though. He read ahead, so he knows. Oh wait, we didn't actually, oh. You win, as always. You know, this book is one of a series. And in each of these book, you know, the each of those books, you win. Every single stinking time! Because you are the plucky squire, the hero of the story, the boy who can do no wrong. Always victorious. Even the little stories you write, beloved by all. Infuriating! Like, uh, like, uh, Mosquito in my cardigan. Yes, that is an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain. I'm the talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. At least, that is how it has been up until now. But maybe it doesn't need to be that way. 
Maybe even Humgrump could get a little glory for once. If the plucky squire were to be plucked from the book. If he were to be ejected! My sword! Whoa! <laughs> Here we go! You didn't have to close the book on me, though. Uh, <laughs> I don't have my roll. I don't have my sword. No. No. Is that me? I look good. All right. Enough horsing around. I've got collectibles to find. Friends to meet up with. This is so cool. Ah! It, it was stuff like this that really drew me into this game in the first place. I I absolutely love when video games mess around with this kind of like it, it's using its resources. It could be anything it wants to be because it is a story based game. It's a storybook. It is a game about being in a storybook and we're inside like a kid's room, which is why we have the book in the like the book is here in the first place and like why there's a lunchbox up there because we're just we're merchandise that is so cool because <laughs> this also kind of reminds me of um the new art style that they're going with for a lot of like the uh the top down legend of zelda games they did it with link's awakening and they're doing it with the echoes of wisdom where it's kind of like it's like this but it has that zelda vibe that zelda charm to it it doesn't all look as realistic as this game does but it also doesn't look very cartoony either it's it's that it's that kind of cool mix. I just I love video games. Oh, hello. Is there someone out there? No, depends on who's asking. Are you a threat? You're lucky I don't have my sword. Would you be so kind as to open the lid of this lunchbox? Oh. Grab him. Oh, you're the bookworm. Do you remember me, Jot? I forgot what voice I gave you. It was more of like a... <laughs> Do you remember me, Jot? We met your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit from book to book. But you, Jot, are a character from a book and shouldn't really be out here. It's Humgrum's magic that blasted you out of the page and onto this desk, isn't it? We'll have to get back, get you back into your book, Jot. It is of the utmost paramount to see. He knows too many words that I don't. In other words, very important. You know, there are some intriguing items on this desk. Some of them might help you return. Head around the corner to the left and we'll try and find one. Okay, bye. Pick up. What do I do with these? Ha! Can I use this as a weapon? I would much rather take a carrot. It's longer, sturdier, heavier. Hello there again. Do you see that magic swirly? <laughs> the carrot's covering the words. Swirly thing? That's all you need to know. It's a magic swirly thing. Oh, come on now. That's a meta meta magic portal that uh, seems to allow travel between different uh, worlds most characters cannot travel that these portals through these portals or pass between realms but jot you've already made the trip once baby i hate that i threw the carrot there try jumping through the portal thing squire all right firstly i'm gonna move this because that's in the way Secondly, I'm going to do some exploring. Ew. This kid kind of needs to clean his room. Because there are dead bugs everywhere. There's creepy crawlies. And I'm not one for it. Ah, oh, that's fire! Remarkable. Some of the meta magic must have rubbed off on you, Jot. Let me. Like me, it seems you have the power to leap between worlds. Now this world here is a sketch that is drawn by the occupant of this room. And the owner of your storybook, Jot, a young boy named Sam. He's a very creative child. You'll find his sketches all over this desk. Since you can jump into them, maybe you can use them to get around. 
Let's try and find that item that will get you home. Okay. Low energy. Too hungry to move. Too hungry to converse. Please give me a snack. Oh, I know exactly what to get you. Poor Bubford over there. Poor Bubford over there. He looks famished. There's no nourishment to be found in this sketch, but maybe there's something out there on the desk. You know, maybe you could bring items between worlds. It's worth a shot. Oh, I know exactly what you need. Would you like a carrot or a grape? Well, you're gonna get a grape because it was the closest thing I could find. Ah, oh, I love that. Exceptional. You really can bring items between realms. This may be handy. Wow, and it, it even looks 3D in the sketch. Uh, so hungry. But that food item you have, not really into it, honestly. Okay, you picky freaking eater. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. How about this one? Oh, because it's a carrot. It, it's a bunny carrot. That makes more sense. Delicious. Carrot boost energy levels restored. Oh, am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me scooch. Oh, so adorable. Carrot is a cone of golden life force. Oh, look at that. Ah, that is so cool. That's so cool. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous. This is... I don't know how this game is going to end, but I really hope that the studio that made this game continues to either make a series out of this or, uh, like, makes other games in this style. Because it's it's so fun to be able to just switch between 3D and 2D. And there need to be more games like this. These kind of games need to be studied. Ooh. How would I go about getting up there? How would I? Oh, I figured it out. I think. Never mind. I did. I didn't know I could grab on the ledges. Easy now, Jot. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good going, young squire. I believe that the item that could help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen on your way, you may run into creepy crawly colio 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 beetles, Sam. <laughs> beetles. Sam likes to keep them as your pets, you see. Beware, Jot, don't get eaten. It simply wouldn't do. Well, if I had a sword, I think everything would be a lot better. It's also so cool to just look at the, the kind of things that Sam has around his room. Ooh, we got stealth missions. Wait, hold shift. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're not friendly. Jump up. Grab the ledge, please. No? Am I supposed to knock these over? Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Wait, never mind. I did it for myself. By Tony Tungsten. That's so cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Press E while running to throw. Okay, can I not just take it up with me? Hell yeah!
It would be really bad if I were to fall right now. Fuck! <laughs> Why did I have to say that? Cool, got it. We're fine. Don't turn around. 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 Oh, I love that. Am I going to have to deal with, uh, with trying to find, uh, the, the art scrolls and stuff? Jot, you made it. My fears have been delayed. It seems that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note, while you are here, there is something that you really must observe. Whoa. There's a giant toy of me. These sketches of you, quite a remarkable likeness, I must attest. The person who drew all this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in this room, and is the owner of your storybook. You said that already. Why, why'd you have to reiterate that to me? As you might be able to tell, he is very fond of you and your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this, Jot, to see how much you mean to him. Which is exactly why I need to get back to my book! But there is no time to dwell on that. Your quest to re-enter the book is near its pedicle. The item you need is just beyond the sketchbook. Press, uh, press on. Will do. Okay. I can't just knock this one over. You're gonna make it harder for me? Oh, come on. You know I can do it. You- Ow! All right, all right, just play the game. <laughs> Stop trying to cheat the system. Play the game. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Please don't turn around, please don't turn around, please don't turn around. This is actually nerve-wracking. Were there secrets over there? Is there a collectible that way? Hold on. I gotta go back. Is this stupid? Absolutely. Should I not do this? 100%. Okay. All right, no secrets over there. Got it. I understand. Ow! No, 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 no! Okay, just be patient. You're not in a hurry. There's no reason to rush. Learn the pattern. No! What? Again, no reason to hurry. Just learn the pattern. Okay. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh, nobody told me this was a horror game! Oh. Everything's A-OK -okay now. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. We may now press on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a horror game. This is not an adventure game. What the hell? Jot got the turn gauntlets. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. 
Press Q when the next when next to the book to open it up. Okay. You got the gauntlets. Exceptional pro procure procurement. Head back to your book. Post haste. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave this table, Jot. It is very important. Beware of Hubgrub. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just the, for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is one of those children, Jot. You know us bookworms. We're able to glimpse the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and illustrator himself. He will create a series of very popular children's books with very lucrative merchandise, tie-ins, and branches. <laughs> Sam's books will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he ever actually writes them. If Hubgrub takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelves. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam and then... Who knows what path he will take. Do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Hub Grump. Oh, I will. You know I will. You know I will. Thank you, bookworm. I don't know what I'd do without you. I don't know what I'd do without these gauntlets. It's my destiny. It's my destiny to turn the pages! Oh, I get to do that. Hell yeah! Moonbeard! I'm back! Shot, my lad! Welcome back to Mojo! We have much to discuss! Chapter 3 Moonbeard. Moonbeard. Hmm, I seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Better put my best foot forward then. Greetings, lad! Hey, Jot! Glad you're back here in one piece! I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answer to the first question is... Yes, I am aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second question is... Yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas? Huh? I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many years. Somehow that greasy nincompoop humgrump... <laughs> nincompoop humgrump found out. Very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's planning. I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. But that just means, young squire, that you must- that we must be double tr double the trouble. But I need to slow down. Calm down. Follow me! First order of business. Getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkly stuff over there? Yeah, I'm well aware of it. Meta magic, that is. It lets you break the fourth wall, which is another way of saying jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding the E button. What's an E button? <laughs> Not entirely sure, but you sure? But you should press and hold it. Wow! Hell yeah! Testing, testing. Ahem. <laughs> jo I'm talking to you via Rune Tooth. That's <laughs> You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants, we must keep hydrated. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. 
Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Seems like you can use A and D to turn pages. Let's get to it then. Pressing A. Okay, I guess I need to press D. Ooh. You see that glow around the edges of the page? That's the book telling you there's something useful on this page. Try jumping in and seeing what you can find. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So I, I did say that I was going to stop here. I don't know how long this chapter is, though. Ah, it feels like it's going to be a short one because it's really just tutorial with Moonbeer. No, I must stop. I, I said chapter by chapter. So this is where we're going to leave it off. <laughs> Ah! Every time I end this, the, every time I end a video, I always want to keep playing. That is all the time I have for the Plucky Squire. We're on to chapter three now. Cha oh, we're finally out of the book. We're finally into the 3D space. I love it. I love it so much. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying this too. I know some of you have already expressed how cool it would be to have a storybook like this. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you want to see the last video of the Plucky Squire, that'll also be linked somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out.